Hey there, AI enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest news in the world of artificial intelligence. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, improving the Stable Diffusion XL, SDXL, model with bad AI-generated images. In a recent article, the author dives into their work on fine-tuning the SDXL model using these images. But what's so special about SDXL? Well, it supports ControlNet, which gives us more control over the shape and composition of the images generated by AI. Pretty cool, right? Now, the author makes it clear that they are committed to transparent AI journalism and ethical considerations. They want to ensure that we understand the ins and outs of this technology. Kudos to them for that. So, how does this improvement work? The author introduces us to LoRa, which stands for Localized Reinforcement of Attributes. LoRa helps enhance the quality and coherence of the generated images. It's like giving the AI a boost in creating even better visuals. But that's not all. The author also discusses the potential for further development and experimentation with negative LoRas. This means they're exploring ways to make the AI learn from its mistakes and improve even more. It's all about pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. Now, let's jump into the comments section. Our fellow AI enthusiasts are buzzing with ideas. They're talking about personalized RLHF, which stands for Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback. It's all about incorporating user feedback to make the AI-generated images more tailored to our preferences. Imagine having AI that understands exactly what we want. And speaking of user feedback, there are suggestions on how to implement it effectively. It's all about finding ways to make the AI listen to us and create images that truly resonate with our desires. It's an exciting prospect. Some users are also discussing the effectiveness of LoRas. They're curious about the interpretability and improvement in the model's loss function. It's all about understanding how LoRas work and how they can be optimized for even better results. And let's not forget about Stable Diffusion and SDXL. Users are sharing their experiences with these tools, highlighting the improvements in image quality and versatility. It's amazing to see how far AI has come in creating stunning visuals that we can all appreciate. Oh, and one user even mentions an open-source framework for generative AI flows. This means that these tools are accessible to everyone, and we can all contribute to the development of AI-generated images. Collaboration is the key to progress. That's all for today's AI news. Remember to stay tuned for more exciting updates in the world of artificial intelligence. Until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating, and keep pushing the boundaries of AI.